Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. CSDSU Jackrabbits are national champions. South Dakota State grabbed control with a 24-point second quarter and didn't look back from there, taking the win against defending champion North Dakota State. The 45-21 victory in the FCS national title game came before a crowd of more than 18,000 fans. The Jackrabbits won their 14th game in a row to finish the most historic season in program history with a 14-1 overall record. MDSU, which has won nine of the last 11 national championships, ended the year 12-3 overall. It was a sea of blue in the South Dakota State tailgate areas. Thousands of Jackrabbit fans geared up for the game, enjoying much warmer weather than we had here at home. SDSU President Barry Dunn called it the greatest day in Jackrabbit history. Former SDSU football player Ryan Barry says it's great to see the team where the team is at today. Just to see what this place has turned into in the last 10 years has been unbelievable to watch and really fun to be a part of. And clearly with all the people and support here, it's, it's just really a special thing for the entire university. And to be a former player, to know that we were part of kind of the beginning of it was pretty cool. According to SDSU, the championship is the school's 12th team national title across all sports and the first at the Division I level. Now let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Scott Monk. Going to be a warmer day today, especially out west, Scott. Oh, we are looking at a mild day. You are correct. Numbers in the 40s to near 50 degrees across western South Dakota. That will happen with sunshine. And you know what? This morning, uh, much like what we had over the past couple of mornings with fog in eastern and southeastern Kettle Land, that will go away. Temperatures will return to the 20s today, pushing 30 degrees for some. And Brian will have more details on your forecast coming up. Thanks, Scott. Visitors to the outdoor camp has found ways to enjoy the snow this past weekend. During the Snow and Go event, visitors were able to try out cross-country skiing and snowshoeing to learn new ways to take advantage of the recent snowfall. Really nice being in Sioux Falls here and having all these activities we can do. Having the free rentals is great. We can rent skis and snowshoes here. It's a really good asset for the city. At the outdoor campus, visitors can explore over two miles of groomed trails. Crews from multiple agencies battled a blaze in southeastern South Dakota over the weekend. Early fire was called to a payloader fire around 9.35 Saturday morning. Officials say as trucks were leaving the station, the property owner called back saying the fire spread to the building and other pieces of equipment. Crews from Parker and Chancellor were called in to help. The building was engulfed in flames as firefighters arrived. Officials were on scene for three to four hours. Then that afternoon, firefighters from multiple agencies faced cold temperatures while battling a blaze southwest of Chester. Lake County Emergency Management says it happened just before 4.20 p.m. All five Lake County Fire Departments responded, while crews from Colton and Dell Rapids were called in to help. The two people living in the building went inside to try and get vehicles and equipment and were treated for smoke inhalation. They were later taken to the hospital. Due to the cold temperatures, ice could be seen forming on a firefighter. The Dual County Sheriff's Office is investigating a crash that sent two people to the hospital over the weekend. Authorities say it happened west of Clear Lake just after 1 o'clock Friday afternoon. A white SUV was southbound when it failed to stop at a stop sign and collided with a black SUV. Both drivers were hurt and taken to Sanford Clear Lake. The driver of the white SUV had to be later flown to a Sioux Falls hospital. Due to Friday's fog, the helicopter was unable to land at the hospital, so Highway 15 was shut down so it could land safely. The Sioux Falls Police Department is warning people about a potential scam involving voicemail messages. Police say someone is misrepresenting themselves as a police department employee and leaving messages asking people to call a phone number to respond to a legal issue. Police never ask people to pay fines over the phone or with gift cards. You can call Sioux Falls Police if you have any questions about a message that you've received. Christy Nome is now officially in her second term in office as governor of South Dakota. Nome, along with several constitutional officers and state lawmakers, took the oath of office on Saturday in Pier. Nome delivered a short inaugural address following the swearing in. I love the challenge of serving in this the opportunity to get up every single day with a purpose. Every day is different. The people I work with, I have the best boss, the people of South Dakota. They are the best people in the greatest state and the greatest country on earth. 
Next up for Nome, the State of the State Address tomorrow, which is the first day of the new legislative session. You can read about Nome's top 10 list of surprises during her first term in office, plus other highlights from Saturday's inauguration on our Capital News Bureau page on Kelloland.com. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right. Temperatures today, well, we're starting off with a mixed bag of teens and 20s in the southeast. Some of the numbers a little colder in northeast South Dakota. Overall, I do expect our warmest potential today to be in Rapid City, close to 50. We'll see maybe a couple of those, uh, well, at least the upper 40s. We'll put it that uh, toward Phillip. And winter today, we're going to shoot for close to 40 degrees. That's not bad, considering all the snow on the ground. South Central, the southeast tonight, Sioux Falls area could dip at least down to 10. I think that's probably a fair statement. Some of these models are trying to go a little colder. That's all a function of the deep snow pack. But then tomorrow, the one little interesting little issue that pops up is the far northeast corner of South Dakota. There could be a little snow on radar. I don't want to discount that entirely because it is showing up a little plume there into central Minnesota. That's basically a little frontal boundary that zips through. And then beyond that, uh, the going forecast for the middle part of the week would tend to be a little colder again as a cold front works its way through. Now, closer examination of the wind forecast through the next 24 hours we don't see anything really significant here. Sioux Falls area tomorrow afternoon, 10 to 20, looks pretty fair out of the southeast on the wind. Now, as the front comes through uh, during the day on Wednesday, we are going to shift around to the north. We could see some of these wind gusts popping up 30, maybe a few 35s over in southwest Minnesota. My question is, is that enough to pick up a little snow? Probably. Uh, could, you know, blow it across the roads a little bit. I doubt that we would have any visibility issues at this point. But my main concern is just the fact that we've got so much snow sitting up against a lot of these roads that once you start to blow a little bit of across the road, you instantly start to brew up things like black ice. It gets slick again. Just something to keep in mind. Again, we've got another day or so to kind of reevaluate that. Temperatures, while they may slip a little bit here toward the middle part of the week, no major storms. We're not focused on anything drastic here. And I would say this zonal flow is kind of protecting us for now. There's a system uh, Wednesday that zips from Colorado into Kansas. That storm track is consistently shown to be south of us. We've been able to drag in a 20% chance of snow for the Black Hills on that one. But we kind of skirted the rest of the moisture to the south and east of us. And then we'll kind of flip the page into the start of the weekend, which is a little milder. We bumped some 30s into Sioux Falls. I'm fine with that. And then we'll see what next week brings. There's a little more troughing here by Monday and already a couple of systems that might kick out of the Rockies. A little early. Jury's still out on exactly how that unfolds. So we'll take the front seven, say mainly dry. We'll keep reevaluating next week as more data comes in. Today, just enjoy that 40 in winter, 37 Chamberlain, even the upper 20s in Sioux Falls. That's fine. It's going to feel pretty decent out there. A little patchy fog tonight. Most of the lows will be between 10 and 15 above zero in those deeper snow-packed areas of the southeast. Tomorrow, rapid back to 47, northwest wind 15 to 25. And temperatures, you know, as we dip a little bit Wednesday, Thursday, not drastic. You know, 20s for highs, still near 20 on Friday. The weekend in the 30s. And uh, as we look at Aberdeen, it's about like Sioux Falls. So at this point, even our Tuesday snow chance I've left out for right now. We'll give that a second look for this afternoon and see if Britain and Sisseton need to pick up some snow chances tomorrow. Otherwise, you look at Pier, it's again this same basic story. No major headlines here for snow or wind. And those 30s for the weekend seem like a fair estimate. Rapid City, how about some 50s? Makes a dramatic difference. Being right there near the Black Hills, we can get those warm-ups, and we'll see one again at the end of the seven-day forecast. Check out more details online at kevinland.com.